I'm your friend, your boy, Jeff Like One, only here with um, Aiden, the 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 one that there are others of apparently, and because there is a black Aiden, yeah. right? So right now, what we're discussing is what is a permanent population. Uh, so the Montevideo Convention or Montevideo. Wait, wait, let me let me start my thing if you don't. Mind. Okay, he's also. I'm also video. recording a video. If you guys want to check it out. Uh, I've started a new YouTube channel called The Empire of Eternia. So if you want to go check that out and check out the Micronation, please, please give me some love. Yo, uh, Kirby. Kirby's like, hey, Kirby. Video, and he spelled it like mayo. Yeah. No, it's spelled like video. That's why I always say Montevideo. But if you look it up like in a YouTube video or something, it says Montevideo. I'm going to call it Montevideo place. throughout. But the place. It's so easy to say. Wait. It rolls right off the tongue. Okay, let me suck this up real quick. I like how you said suck it up. Fuck I it. said let me suck this up. Bro. Oh, you said suck, <laughs> <laughs> suck it up. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, Irakuga said, "Where is it? We're currently in uh, Charger Village." I mean, he's asking, "Where's your country?" Oh, um, yeah. What is your defined territory? Hmm. I guess it's um, wherever I am, and then going. That is a that, definition. Wherever, yeah. Well, because that's the thing. Yeah. The defined territory is the space in which I reside, and then every member of the country, wherever the, the space they are. That occupy. actually is a really good defined and territory. And that's a great thing. Because well, you never you have to a, worry about it. Right, and not only that, if you get a big enough group of people and they're just all in the same area, it's kind of like, that's are you going to tell country me no? United. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, scavenger said, a permanent population is an amount of people who will stay in the nation or country permanently. Ooh. Then you say green and salutation. Greeting. Hey. I argue that that's not necessarily true. Scavenger, um, were you able to make the thing? Because I like have my YouTube channel all set up. I'm ready to go. I'm He's about waiting to for do that this logo. Like, first video. And I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for that like logo. button. Can you, can you smash that like button? I truly so, appreciate it. Also, if you want to send me that thing, I'd really appreciate it. Either through Amino, I hit you up through Amino. Uh, either through Amino or through whatever. We can we can work it out. Let me start my video though, real quick. Okay. Okay, and we can just get both of them going at the same time. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of what my like. What should my wait before I start? <laughs> what should my what should my like starting in catchphrase thing be or like thing I that think I think in your videos before you would just say like hey guys or hi guys yeah, like in your Winslow videos but I also feel like that's a thing that everybody says I don't want to be like hey guys you could be like hello my wonderful nation or like to the citizens of like yeah you could like do whatever you want it's your nation you can be like peons welcome <laughs> <laughs> to another insightful vlog and Kirby said we are professionals over here in the Winslow channel thank you, thank you. <laughs> he's like I'm, I'm not trying to be like everyone else <laughs> I'm not trying to be like everyone else and then you just say hello anyways like you start each one by saying I'm not trying to be like everyone else <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just different clips from me of different angles I'm not trying to be <laughs> and they're just all strung together I'm not trying to be someone else <laughs> I'm gonna shoot hello Scavenger said, oh, uh, I, I'll send it to you on Amino in 15. Thank you so much. He gave you a timestamp. Timestamp. He he's going to send it back in time to 2015. When it, when this video goes to 18, I'm going to know. I'm going to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's hey, everyone, and welcome to the first video on the Empire of Eternia uh, YouTube channel. That was a very basic entry. Well, fuck, well, fuck you. <laughs> I wanted you to keep it. I didn't want you to cut that. Well, now I'm cutting it. <laughs> and we can restart it, and you can insult me again. <laughs> Kirby said, hello, people that are trying to be different to everyone else. And we are. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Um, so my argument about the permanent population thing was that um, the definition of population allows for population to still be zero but still be a population. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just start the video, and then I'm going to like edit in later and do like my intro oh, stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the definition of population on Google is all the inhabitants of a particular town, area, or country. But if all the inhabitants of a particular town, area, or country were like zero, like you didn't have any, right. your population is zero. It's not that you have no population. It's that your population is zero. Like, the value is zero, but it's a population. But I think that because it is zero, which is equivalent to none, you 
by definition, if you have zero population, have no population. I disagree. I'd say I have zero population. It's like x equals zero. It's not that x isn't a value. X's value is zero. But that's like, so if I say, hey, we're going to go to the movies, uh, it costs $5 to get in, how much money do you have? And you say, I have zero dollars. You don't have any money. I don't have enough money but to get in. But you also don't, like, all right, so if I'm like, how much cash do you have on you right now? And you're like, I have zero dollars on me right now. Mm. You have no money on you. Scavenger said, all I said was 15. And then Kirby said, 15 BC? He said, that could be 15,000 years. <laughs> you, yeah, no, that could have been 15 seconds after a statement. It could already be on the, you know, the, yeah. the logo. But also, 15,000 years. So you would have sent it 15,000 years ago, so I should already have it. But the thing is, I don't. <laughs> 15,000 years in the present. <laughs> Let's see. So I still stand by the idea that, like, population exists regardless of what the value is. Like, it still is a population. And I, I agree with that for anything, like, one or greater. But if you it have zero, have to be one. I think so. I think it does. No. Uh, let's see. Scavenger said that could be. Oh, you, oh, I have to scroll. I see. Uh, Kirby said 15 microseconds. It's a meter. 15 it's, attoseconds. Yeah. <laughs> 50 quantoseconds. Instantaneous. But I feel like your permanent population could be zero. And you'd be like, definitionally, this is a permanent population. I would like to see you try and argue that, like, from a legal standpoint. Well, yours like, is I interesting, know. I think, too. Like, I feel like it's a defined territory. Right. But people would be like, so you're standing in the U.S. And you're like, yes, I am. And it's like, and you're saying that, like, that's the territory for your country. And it's like, yes. And it's like, step one step to the right. And then you do. And I'm like, now that is the territory for your country. But you're still in the U.S. Like, they would just point out that, like, you're still in like an un you're still in a claimed land and claiming it as your own and they're like we're just not going to recognize it and then you'll be like well micronations don't have to be recognized right. so that doesn't matter and it's like but you're going to pay taxes where you stand right like <laughs> like that that's the big thing well technically no cuz i'd send it to somewhere else to file the taxes so they wouldn't be where i stand it'd be like in yeah like as soon as i or... transfer money it's not where i'm standing yeah. <laughs> i'm standing i could see that argument it's um, like my country is sending it to other places, but it's not. And I guess if you killed anyone, it would still be like, well, they weren't standing where I was standing, so I still killed them in the other nation. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess, like, as long as you didn't run into any problems, that's fine. The only way that it would, that you'd, like, in technicality be able to. Scavenger do... said to be a legal nation or country, you must be at least 40 miles away from another country. To be illegal? No. That doesn't even, that's not a part of it. Like, the Montevideo Convention only yeah. requires yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you have a permanent population, defined territory, a government, and a capacity to enter relations with other states. To enter relations with other states, you have a fucking email address. Your government, <laughs> you could go on Wikipedia and pick a government system you like and say, I like that one. Yeah. And then for your divine territory, it's literally you just saying what your territory is. And there's a whole Wikipedia article that's called Terra Nullius. Uh, Terra Nullius. There's an I before the U. It's Terra Nullius. It's Latin. Maybe. What? I'll like click do it. The, do like Terra the, Nullius. Do like the... Like the pronunciation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terra Nullius. They spelled it the same! <laughs> I can't do it any better. It's I, the only thing they changed was Terra in the pronunciation. That that might you. I'm sure you're correct. But that I, I ooh they have a talk thing though. Wait, where is a, it? You see article talk up there up at the top above Terra Nullius. No, over, that's it's over, not gonna over uh, where it's article talk. Fuck me. Right there. That's like chat. Oh. I thought it was like text it's to the, It's not going to just read. Oh, I thought it was like text. They used to have stuff have like have that. Like, yeah, it'd be like a little um, speaker symbol. If you click the IPA thing, it teaches you just to speak IPA. <laughs> it doesn't like... Uh, Kirby said, I will not do that, Nick. You will not do what? I think I missed the context. He's not going to do it, Nick. Yeah, whatever, whatever <laughs> it was, he's not doing it. 
But yeah, to make your own micro nation, you need a permanent population, which is what we're currently like disputing. Maybe that's what he's not going to do. He's not going to set up his own nation. So then, don't worry. You can always join mine. It's fine. <laughs> it's, uh, a defined territory, a government, and capacity relations with other states. So right. you could make up your own government system because they're not even saying that you have to use like a pre-existing one. Right. So you can make the rules wherever you want. Capacity and relations with other states, you just need to be like reachable. Right. And in the modern day, that's really easy. Absolutely. Um, you could literally say that your capacity is through your YouTube channel. You could right. be like, I, I can do like a video thing and, it's and like talk a to press people. release. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I think a lot of people do do stuff like that. Um, then, like a defined territory, you can like uh, Kirby said, "I'll let Zarbon do that." I said, "Fuck me," and he said, "I, I won't do that." Uh, I, okay. the world's greatest detective. This yeah. <laughs> is slew thing backwards. So Terra Nullius is where you can just find like any territory that like the claim of land isn't recognized, and you just say, "I pick that one." Okay. And Wikipedia claims to update it. So, like, if someone does claim that, you're like, I just pick the next one on the list. I, I just keep going. That's my defined territory. But I don't think it's a long list, right? Like, and the ones that are on there are pretty hard to get. Like, you'd have to go there and actually try It's to actually get. only three things. Right. Antarctica list. is one of them. And Antarctica has, like, Antarctica is an, an interesting case, too, because Antarctica has lots of countries that have stations there. So. I feel like if you tried to claim it as a country, they'd be like, fuck you, no. Well, this that, is like a UN thing. The area that you would want to claim is the Mary Bird land, which everyone says is unclaimed. Yeah. Everyone's like, no one fucks with that. Yeah. And whenever someone does try to claim it, they just say, like, nah, we don't recognize it. Yeah. Well, because I think it'd be, um, I think, I'm sure it's protected in some way. Like, I think that's the point of it. It's like a bunch it's of glaciers, good. is yeah. what I read. Like, it's, I don't know. I don't know if anyone cares. Well, it's just Mary and her birds, like, chilling <laughs> And she's like, don't touch my land. I'm really cold. Birds aren't made to survive in this weather. <laughs> um, but with, the, with your thing, right. why couldn't you say, my territory is wherever I am currently standing, the surface area, like, under my feet, kind of, like, you're right. being, like, really precise, yeah. and also Mary Birdland. And you're like, I'm in my country. You know, like, because it's always where you are, but you still have all that extra land. I could definitely attach that, but I feel like that's the difference that I want to try and go with with my thing, is that, like, I want, I, I know a lot of micronations do that. They just attach themselves to a piece of land they feel like is unclaimed, or they feel like they can say without anybody really disputing it. But I want this to be something where, even though I have to make it in a way where it's not just, like, trying to steal other countries' land or, like, making it in a way that can be easily disputed. I want it to be in a way that shows the growth of the, the nation. To but a it point can be it. both things. But I just want it to be the one thing because I want it to show that, like, at a certain point, you can actually get a group of people together, put a lot of money together, and eventually do your own thing. And then it'd be like, so now you're trying to do something serious, but you're also claiming Mary Birdland? Like, that's not going to fly. I don't feel like the Mary Birdland is the part where they go, you lost me! You lost me in Mary Birdland! Yeah. I feel like you'd be fine. No one cares. No one's going to be like, this was a really serious nation until they said they claimed fucking Mary Birdland. <laughs> like, why would you not? It's a big section of unclaimed land, and you're forming a nation, and there are only three of these things. I would go hard. I will go hard, and I will <laughs> Sorry, we got some lag going on. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. So then I guess I would do this. I'd like set it up as like a territory. Moving forward, I'd want it to be basically in, in, the, in the basis of wherever people stand and like how large it gets in population. That's still just semantics. Like, I just want you to know that. Like, you just saying, but we won't call it a state. It's just like, it's still like within your defined territory. Even with the U.S. thing, with the Guam thing, it's still, they're defined, they just consider it different. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess it would be, at least for my knowledge and for other people's knowledge who would be there and be working on this, just to say that it's not something that, like, that's our main thing. That's not, like, the, the primary agenda, the primary goal. I am going to use that where, you, where people stand thing, though. It's a good idea. What the fuck? That's what <laughs> you're just like, I'm going to do what you did and yeah. just rip you off.
Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it solves the if permanent but population cannot be zero thing. This thing, then, and you're yeah. a part of this thing. Yeah. So why not I can be a part of both thing? things. I'm also still a member of the U.S. I'm a part of a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Totally still my thing. I don't know how I feel about it. What is the definition of territory? Let me look it up. Yeah, I like. What if it's way more vague than like what we're thinking? So an area of land under the jurisdiction of a ruler or state. Define land. The part of the Earth's surface that is not covered by water, as opposed to sea or the air. Yeah. So as long as it's something we can, like, stand on. Yeah. Wait. As long as it's a Well, it says it's part of the Earth's surface that is not covered by... Wait. Part of the Earth's surface that is not covered by... So does it have to be the ground? I think that's, as far as, like, geological standpoint, yes. I think as far as, like... I think if it connects to the ground as well, like that, that can be a thing too. Cause like, um, I know that was a thing with sea land. Their whole thing is they're like a fort, which technically wouldn't be land cause it's like raised out of the water and it's a man-made thing. But at the same time, if it's far enough away from other things. Well, we also have like man-made islands. So, I mean, I don't think it's too far fetched for you to be like, we made this platform and that's what we're on. Yeah. I would almost argue that if you had, like, a floating thing, mm -hmm. like, it was, like, suspended in the air by whatever reason, you could be like, that's our land. Yeah. And it's like, we're in the air and we're outside of, like, uh, you wouldn't have niggas on it, though. Like, you, <laughs> you wouldn't have, like, people there. Um, I mean, you definitely, you could if you could get that to work and you could, like, put an infrastructure on it. But the, I guess the difficult thing for me would be, like, if you were going to do a floating thing, I would almost just say do like a big ship, like have a whole bunch of ships that are just connected to each other and can disconnect at any time. Cause there so was modular one, ships. Right, because there was one one attempt at something like that uh, where I think it was like a whole bunch of libertarians. They put, um, they put together a big boat that had like a cement hull and they just floated it out into the water and were like, this is our thing. And they went to the Caribbean and they tried it for a while but they got fucked over because a hurricane came and they were like, this is too big to move and they just abandoned it and it broke apart and they never like messed with it. But if you had like a lot of small boats that you could group together and like put platforms on, at any point you could just disassemble the platforms, like divide up the boats, move it to somewhere else, reassemble it. I'm trying to do math. I was just thinking about like when would I need to go to bed and I was like, if I normally go to bed at 1 to wake up at 8.45, and tomorrow I need to try and wake up around, like, 10 a.m., what's, like, the math conversion? Mm -hmm. So 15 minutes to 9. So I could afford to go to bed an hour and 15 minutes after, like, my normal time. So that's, like, 2.15, and it's, like, 1.54. So I'm like, mm, I see. Like, I, I have 21 minutes before I need to be not home but asleep. Like, I need to already be, like, out. So I feel like you're killing it. <laughs> like, you could you could just go home and lay down and fall asleep in, like, three seconds. Wow. They actually recommend that you give yourself, like, 14 minutes. They, Scavenger says, they. so sounds complicated. I like that they. Who the fuck is they? <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's see. The land right under The land right under the feet of any citizen. Yeah. I want to be, like, really specific. Like, I don't just want it to be wherever you are. Because um, even if you got a big grouping of people together, like, for, like, this really hard definition, mm -hmm. unless all your feet were touching, you wouldn't be, like, an interconnected, like, piece of your country. Well, I mean, like, for example, um, uh, the United Kingdom sort of does a similar thing like they're broken up islands but they're like one thing yeah so that's how i'd imagine it. like you just see a whole bunch of dots you can be like that's that's like the total sum of the yeah mm -hmm. even if they're not like together if you had them spread out over whatever it's like all these little places make up what our country is 
I wonder. I'm still trying to make sure that that definition doesn't run into like any like legal problems, like mm-hmm. the idea of if you're always standing in your country and you kill someone, so you kill someone like in the U.S. Right. So the argument would be like you kill a U.S. citizen, and then yeah. you'd be like, well, technically, you like you're like I did, but I was in my country because I'm always in my country because it's wherever I'm standing, right? And it's like, well, that doesn't make your murder not a murder. Right. But then you would argue, like, let's say you're being a dick about it. You would argue that, like, but I'm not in your nation's jurisdiction for you to, like, prosecute me over the murder. So it happened, but, like, you can't legally get to me. Then. I would say this. Even if that did work, they would still be able to legally get to you in the sense that if someone, ki- like, if someone kills a U.S. citizen in another country, they're still committing a crime against the United States. So you still have to go through an embassy, and they can still potentially get you deported to that country and face trial in that country. So who at my embassy is going to deport me? Also, the solution I thought you were going to say is you lie down, and they're like, hi, your feet's not touching shit. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> go to sleep. Never go to sleep. Sleep standing up. Sleep standing up. up. Always, always be in your country. That's why vampires are like in coffins, because you got to. This guy just said, what the fuck? <laughs> It's getting real complicated. Yeah. Well, it's not getting really. Intense. It's not too bad. Um, the biggest problem is that the Montevideo Convention. Montevideo. <laughs> um, Montevideo. It's just very lax terminology. Right. Why is it, as far as I know, the permanent, I like how he's sending me his energy, sending <laughs> us his energy. Thank you. Melodious energy Ritmo itself. said, hi, just jumping in here. What is the theme of this channel? We do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, it's mainly like vlogs and gaming and hanging out. He's starting up a channel that's for a micronation, and we're talking about um, micronational law at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Check it out. It's uh, The Empire of Eternia on YouTube. How do they spell that? Uh, it is spelled A E A E T E R N I A. Kirby said, a bunch of madmen losing their minds. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. But yeah, we'll do things like play fighting games, play Yu-Gi-Oh, do vlogs where we like talk and hang out. We'll play role playing games together, et cetera, et cetera. The Montevideo Convention. Montevideo. So. <laughs> and argue about pronunciation. True. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you like what you see and would like to see more. Make sure yes. to subscribe. So, yeah, I feel like a permanent population. Why can't your permanent population be zero people? I mean, fuck. Why aren't all of them things where you could just say, like, my defined territory is we don't have any. Like, by definition, we don't have any land. By definition, our permanent population, we have zero people. Because then eventually your whole thing would fall. Then you're like, but I have a government. Like, like the things that are just easy, you're like, but I have a government, and I can talk to other states. But so then they'd say, okay, you're a government. Well, they don't have to recognize you. That's the thing about the Montevideo Convention. It just means, like, according to international law, you are a nation, but no other nation has to recognize you. Right. But according to, like, legitimacy, if you do something that offends other nations, no nation will support you if you do. Like, I think that's one of the big things about it, too, just in circumstance. Like, if you tried to do something serious, if you were like, I'm not going to pay taxes, not um, go, I'm gonna like start building my own stuff and I'm gonna like start calling my own shots and writing laws and getting people to follow these laws and stuff like that over other countries' laws, they would be like, hey, no one supports you. It's not happening. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you could still have citizens and not have a permanent population in your defined territory. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. As long so as you could still have people that support you. As long as you're not like intentionally and willfully going against other nations just to piss them off. Yeah, like as long as you're not, yeah. Like if you're making laws that are within the bounds of other the countries laws already. Yeah, yeah. Then it doesn't matter. People. Are if like, anything, oh, you would need like, to be more restrictive for right. it to like take any effect. Yeah. Um, but if you, or you could just write laws that are basically equivalent to the laws that we have already in other countries, and so then it's like, oh. Well, then it's like pretty much the same. That's what I'm saying. To make any effect, you have to get more restrictive, not less restrictive. And then nobody would care. Well, if you got more restrictive, it would be interesting. You'd have people being like, 
oh, I'm not going to jaywalk. And it's like, why not jaywalk? It's like, well, in my country, that's a that's fatal offense. <laughs> it's the death penalty for jaywalking. I'm not going to go that. I was like, last time I checked, I'm in America. I was like, well, last time I checked, you, you don't have this passport, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the stamps. Yeah, you, you don't know the boundaries. Yeah. Um, oh, also, I just wanted to bring up earlier, it was interesting. You were plugging uh, your channel and talking about liking and subscribing, and also inadvertently my channel for doing that so awesome. i mean i didn't inadvertently do anything i said and also he has a channel here's the, the no i mean yet. when you said like don't forget to smash that like button and mm-hmm. that it's just it's also on my channel that's not inadvertent i understand that. oh <laughs> <laughs> well i noticed we have three viewers and two likes mommy uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening I don't <laughs> is that still a mystery mm-hmm. um but yeah, I feel like a permanent population should be able to be zero. Kirby said, Badeo? Nani? <laughs> Masaka? <laughs> when your population is zero, uh, and another country says, Omi wa shinderu. So then I wonder what the smallest country, like official country's population is. I imagine the smallest you could go if you want. No, but like, I wonder if it what? wasn't zero. Oh, yeah. like if we could just find one and their permanent population is zero. Right. Or that like would really one. help settle it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I know what the smallest one I think the smallest one is um, is technically uh, the, the batter. Kirby said if we had a screen share going, I would show you the three likes, but there are only two, Kirby. There are only two. All these likes. Scander said the smallest permanent population is one person, he says. When we go, when we look it up, and <laughs> I think this is only showing legitimate countries. No, I mean that's what I'm talking about. Legitimate countries. Pit Carrion Islands in the UK have 50 people. Nice. Well, but it's considered in the UK. It's Scavenger like said, I looked it up a while ago. Kirby said, I will show you the likes. Okay, Scavenger so says, unless it changes. 196 to zero. is Vatican City, and it has a population of 800, but it's its own official thing. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's the thing on the very end. No, that's rank. No, right. If you go down to the rank 900, whatever, 916. Um, 190, uh, 196. That's yeah. their rank. Right. Population, which is right here, is 800. Yes. Right. And they're not attached to any other country. Oh, you're they're like, in and they're a micronation. Right. They're I see. their own official thing that's recognized by, like, the UN and Italy. And, yeah. 800. Yeah. 800. Yeah. So if List you get of countries over and dependencies by population. I see. So if you get over 800, boom, you, you've topped Vatican City. You've topped. <laughs> that's the goal. Thank you for smashing that like button. Truly appreciate it. We finally hit, we hit the three likes. Oh, awesome. Uh, Casey Muit has 29 people. It was founded in 1835. Nice. No pronunciations. No pronunciations for any of these. For Kaisi Muit. They're like, what do you mean you don't know how to say? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the easiest thing to ever say. Um, total population 29, is that what it says? Yeah. Damn, 29 people. I wonder how long... It's in southern Greenland, though. It doesn't seem independent. Right. I don't think it is. I imagine Yeah, I don't like think it city. is either. It's just like a territory. Yeah. City's like an overstep. Hmm. It's a settlement. It said it was a settlement. Yeah. Oh. So people just like went there and were like, we're doing this. And like, okay. <laughs> and 28 people later. Yeah. <laughs> So it's one really big family. It's, <laughs> it's just taken that many years for them to get a, a lot of incest. Oh yeah. <laughs> a permanent population, defined territory, government, and capacity to interrelations with other states. Mm-hmm. Your thing is freaking out. Oh damn. Okay. It yeah. stopped. Oh, it did. Yeah, maximum that makes sense. When you're b- oh, you have a maximum recording size. Apparently so. That is great. Well, I mean, when they put fucking live stream. You could have live streamed the whole time. No, I couldn't. Right, but it says it takes 24 hours. Oh, you sure did. I remember that. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like defined territory 
is a weird it's only slippery because of part a mm -hmm. like part a makes part b a little bit harder But the assumption is that you need the population to be in your territory. But that's not an assumption, because based on population definition, is there in an area, a country, or a town, or whatever. Yeah. Um, there are some areas that are straight up like neglected slash abandoned like locations in states, and they're ranked as such. Like it's like neglected, abandoned Alabama. And someone mentioned Atlantis earlier. There's like an area in Alabama, right? Called Atlantis. Well, no, it's just like a sunken city. Like there was like an accident. Yeah, and like it's underwater, and it's like an abandoned city. I would love to like dive claim there. it. Oh, I yeah. thought you were. Yeah, claim it would be awesome if you just had scuba divers and you just like dive. or you just put a big ass dome over it and you like drained it. Well, let's see. I'm looking through the Alabama thing now, and I want to find the one that was like just look up sunk. Like sunken city, Alabama. Well, I just know it's already in this list. I'm just gonna go, like, from bottom up, and see if I can find um, it. Oh, this one's right. Yeah. So it's Riverton, a uh, former Tennessee River port town, now underwater due to construction of the Pickwick Landing Dam. The only current remnant of Riverton is a cemetery located along Rose Trail. The fuck? Yeah, because all of Riverton's underwater. Scavengers like, yeah, I'm going to drown these dead people. <laughs> Jeez. So, if you claimed Riverton, right. it's like an abandoned, like, sunken town. Right. No one's going to be like, man... We were gonna use that. <laughs> we were gonna use the NRC for ourselves. But the only thing is is that like you couldn't be a permanent resident of the sunken river I guess that makes sense. Maybe you could, you'd be like, I have a boathouse, it's an RV. Yeah. Okay. I could see that. Yeah. Oh, also, um did you say the the media lab in the library has Photoshop? Yeah. Um how do I how do I go to the media lab and all that? Go to the library. Right. Go to the front desk. Right. Say is the media lab open? Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, they'll check and they'll be like, Yeah. And you'll be like, Can I use it? And then they'll take you through the process. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You might run into like a volunteer student and be like, Is the media lab open? And they could be like, What's the media lab? <laughs> and then uh, there's a guy there who's pretty committed to his job. He he'll help you if he if you run into him. Awesome. Yeah, Riverton is the only underwater one. But I remember looking that up when I was younger. But yeah, it's kind of gross. You know, that actually is really interesting. No, there's another one yeah. under Wilson Lake. Yeah. Uh, Bainbridge is like Ooh, another several. like sunken one. Several. Okay. So... Alabama's what traces of ghost cities lie beneath Alabama Alabama's man-made lakes? There are multiple. Eastonville. Prairie Bluff, Eastonville was submerged when Logan Martin Lake was created in 1964. The St. Clair County town was near Pell City and Crop. Well, uh, Benson was a community of mostly black residents founded in 1895 by Will Benson. It was flooded in 1926 when Martin Dam was completed on the Tallapoosa River uh, from to form Lake Martin. Susanna. Huh. Or Susanna. I wonder if I'm from Benson. It's in Alabama, and it was mostly black citizens with the last name Benson. Maybe. Oh, that'd be really fun. Maybe, um... Uh, my, my heritage! <laughs> <laughs> and then some dick drowned it. You're actually Prince of Atlantis. Is the <laughs> when you're like, it's my right! My family started Benson back in 1926! There you go. <laughs> Um, Susanna or Susanna was also flooded by Lake Martin. According to a story in the Montgomery Advisor, more than 900 bodies were moved from cemeteries before the land was submerged. The town included a gold mine, a school, two mercantiles, a grist mill, a flour mill, a sawmill, and a, black, a blacksmith shop and a church. When you're like, I claim Susanna, yeah. I want that gold. <laughs> Kirby <laughs> said, discoveries, money. <laughs> Who <laughs> you go on fucking ancestry and they're like, You're really into Rubens. <laughs> also also that that um that thing would be much appreciated. That would be much appreciated. This one place is just called 
gold log mine, former gold mining camp, abandoned city in Alabama. Waterloo, a tiny patch of Waterdale County that takes up less than one square mile, is still home to about 200 people. For more than 100 years from its beginning in 1819, Waterloo was a small bustling town on the banks of the Tennessee River, but many of its homes and buildings were moved in the late 1930s to avoid being submerged when Pickwick Lake Pickwick Landing Dam was built by Tennessee Valley Authority. Riverton. Irma Pickwick. was a tiny Elmore County community now located beneath Lake Mark. That's the same thing that drained Riverton. The Pickwick thing. Right. Pickwick fucked a lot of... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Irma was a tiny Elmore County community now located beneath Lake Martin. According to a blog for scuba divers, a church was submerged in a very deep part of the lake and is marked on maps. You can go to see a fucking underwater church. Dude, I want to become a scuba diver now just to go and see all this cool You just want to visit all the underwater cities in Alabama. It's weird that there's like a long list of underwater cities in Alabama. They're like, there's like a, a secret like Alabama like plot set up of like, who don't we fuck with? And they're like, they just love it. Yeah, we need a new lake, don't we need a new lake? <laughs> I know there's a the Riverton would be a great site for a new lake. Damn. Bainbridge. Uh, was a Colbert County community submerged when Wilson Dam was built. That's what happens if you start a micronation. Um, they make a dam. Your fucking, <laughs> your fucking ancestors. Don't mind me. Start, yeah. They're like, oh, we're just gonna <laughs> open up this dam. Bainbridge was a Colbert County community submerged when Wilson Dam was built in 1924 to create Wilson Lake on the Tennessee River. It was built by Hugh L. Cooper, but after the formation of TVA. Tennessee Valley Association. Authority. Fuck me. It was placed under its operations. Not so Falls shit. City was already a ghost town by the time it was flooded in 1961 after Alabama Power built a dam at the <laughs> Sipsy Fork tributary on the Warrior River to create Lewis Smith Lake, according to Encyclopedia of Alabama. I always thought they just dug big ditches. They just go, hey, you remember that city? Fuck that city. Yeah. <laughs> just fill it with water. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They're like, this is between two big hills. Like, they can <laughs> Got them. Um, the projected flood zone was sparsely populated. Although Clear Creek Falls, actually a pair of falls about a quarter mile apart in southeast Winston County, was a popular recreation spot for generations. Alabama Power historian Michael Snaderman. Wow. Snaderman wrote in the encyclopedia Fuck. article in 1853 a post office was established near the falls in a small village and later known as Falls City developed but well before the dam oh fuck I can't even read it's it the Jatterman. <laughs> but well before the dam's construction the town dwindled a victim mainly of its remote location in 1953 the US Postal Service abolished the Falls City post office altogether oh, it's unclear from historical records just how many families were displaced by the dam project in addition to buying out residents, the company also paid to have 78 graves relocated to four cemeteries that were in the dam's flood zone. See a YouTube video of Clear Creek Falls below. I gotta go. I get you. Yeah, this is 2.14. He's gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Well, but thank you all for watching. Um, what is your definition of a permanent population? Put it in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like this video. Favorite, comment, and subscribe. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with... I'm not Jet Black, the one and only, but definitely make sure to go and check out my YouTube channel, Empire of Eternia, and join up, become a citizen. Log it out. Peace. I almost fucked that up. Kirby said he's not Kirby Ultra Star. But you are, though. Hashtag Brandon is Kirby. <laughs>